Hey guys, Dave and Derek back at you again. Today we got a demo video of our 205 Low Pro electric deicing sprayer. Um, there is a gas model available for this where you can run a three lane boom and all that kind of stuff. But this is your kind of quiet, residential, um, no gas required, just electronic model. First thing I want to point out is the visibility of this model. As you can tell, there's a lot of window space open on the back of the cab. So if you're backing into a loading dock or doing driveways, it's really handy to have all that visibility out of the back window. The second thing I want to talk about is how compact it is. Uh, we have it in a five foot five bed. It's a little over the tailgate. We had to take the tailgate off, but if you had a regular short bed, it would fit just fine with the tailgate closed. Um, I already touched on how quiet it is. Um, if you're out there at two in the morning and you don't want to wake anybody up, it's literally whisper quiet. You can barely hear it running if you're right next to it. Um, another nice thing is it's wired right into the controller. So when you turn your controller on, your pump also turns on and it pumps into the bypass so you don't have to worry about burning the seal in your pump or anything like that. Um, Dave's going to talk about the rest of the features of it. What you're going to see on this model is this, it's a single lane boom model so it's spraying the width of the truck. One really cool thing that we do with our sprayers is that we make them as adaptable as possible. So that means we build sprayers to do pre-treatments and post-treatments. We've already touched on it with a couple of our other videos, but you can see at the boom, we have the selectable tips on there so that you can select between a pre-treat fan tip or a post-treat jet tip. The nice thing with these pumps that we run is they're incredibly capable for their size. We don't run diaphragm pumps, so we don't have the issues of burning out the diaphragms due to the abrasiveness of brine. What we run is a 23 gallon per minute um, stainless centrifugal pump. So putting out a lot of product for its size, works really well paired to our GPS system. We've talked about that too. If you guys have questions about that reference or other videos, but basically we are, have a unit that's completely controlled by electronics. That's always putting down the application rate that you want. And this pump's actually capable enough to be running about 12 miles per hour in a post street application. We'll be doing that when we go out and demo it. Um, as Derek touched on for its size, very compact, but incredibly capable. In a pre-treatment application where we recommend 30 to 50 gallons per acre, this sprayer will be doing about four acres of coverage. And in a post-treat application where we're talking 80 to 100 gallons per acre, we're able to cover about two acres. And that's pretty incredible for a half ton truck with a short bed um, on it. So we took a truck that was pretty useless for de-icing other than a small, you know, maybe a tailgate spreader and we are now able, able to post treat two acres with it. Um, some of the cool features that we include on it, uh, all of our units are bottom fill, which means when you fill the unit, it's filling from the bottom of the tank so that there's no foaming issues that you might get with your brine, your calcium chlorides when you're adding them together. I already touched on the pump for you guys, full stainless, high volume pump, really nice. Derek kind of touched on it too, the bypass in the system. You can run with your boom off and there's still bypass for your pumps. So you're never burning out the seals. Like all of our skids, we have the full fork pockets on it, run the full length of the skid, completely enclosed, so it's safe to, to lift in and out. How about we, uh, we jump in the truck here and we do some demo footage of how the controller works and what the, the speed capabilities of this unit are. All right, guys, so now we're in the truck and we're looking at the controller of the unit, and this is what runs the entire sprayer for you from your application rate to monitoring your tank level, everything. You can see that we got the boom switches on top. This one's just a single in boom, so we're going to be running our number one boom, which is closest to us on the unit. The nice thing about these electronic units is when you turn them on, you can hear the pump kicked on. So whenever this controller is on, your pump's running. We'll run through the, the, the settings here real quick. Volume is a tracking for your volume of how much you sprayed per account per season. You can reset it out real easy just by clearing it. Um, volume permits your instantaneous flow rate. We did touch on all this stuff in the other videos if you want to reference it, but it's a quick run through. Instantaneous flow rate tells you what you're flowing in gallons per minute. The cool thing about that is as you go faster, the, the GPS system and the servo is going to provide more flow to the boom. So you should see this number increase as your speed increases and decrease as your speed decreases. Tank level monitors the tank level for you. We got it set to 50 gallons in the sprayer at this moment in time. Rate per acre, that's, that's what the, we're looking for here. So we're going to be set at running 80 gallons per acre is what we're going to do with this unit. It would be a post-treat number because we got the post-treat tips on right now. It's telling us no speed because it knows that we're not moving. So why don't we get started here and do a little, little demo on spraying for you. We're going to switch it to speed. And it's, the cool thing about the speed is it's just a speedometer for us. So you can see that we're moving. It's telling us miles per hour right now. 
and we're just going to get up around here and, and do a little demo of the pattern for the unit. All right, guys, so we're, we're up and running right now, and we just turned our boom on. You can see we're going 11.9 miles an hour, a hair faster, and we're patterning really nicely behind us. We're going a hair fast for the unit, so we're going to back down our speed a little bit, let it dial in for itself. Now you can see that we're hitting our 80 gallons per acre. We're doing about, let's see here, 8.6 miles an hour. Nice speed for a post treatment. Maintain, the cool thing about these controllers is there's a flashing light on them that tells you if you're, if you're going a little bit too fast or over or under applying. And you can see as we slow down, everything's keeping up with us really nicely. Flow rate's dropping down. We can monitor our volume per minute right now. Staying nice and consistent around nine gallons per minute for the speed that we're going. The cool thing too is we can actually switch our rate on the fly. Let's say we want to be down a little bit lower. We're uh, in an area that doesn't have as much snowpack. We can change our rate on the fly at any point in time just by using the up and down arrows that's located on the controller here. So now we're putting down 60 gallons an acre. A little bit lower flow rates, got a little more speed out of it because the pump can keep up. One nice thing too is you can see that the valves turn on instantaneously. As soon as I hit the switch or spray in behind me, everything's kept up right away. The controller knows how fast we're going, so it automatically adjusts the flow rate right when I turn that boom section on. So as I mentioned before guys, the cool thing is that we do, we are able to switch between pre-treat and post-treatment tips and it's really easy. We already got a couple turned here. If you guys are out before the storm doing some pre-treating, it's as simple as just turning the tips to your fan tips, going in the controller and adjusting the rate, which I'll show you here, and then it's exactly as the post-treatment spring. Why don't we take a look at it? So like I said out there, we got our pre-treatment tips on. We usually like to run 30 to 50 gallons per acre in a pre-treatment situation. So all we gotta do is flip to our rate here on our controller, and then we just bump our rate down. We're gonna run about 40 gallons per acre, pretty typical for us. And now that our controller is set to that, we're good to go, so we can, we can start doing it. 